Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, radiant luminous beings of divine holy light. Happy leap day of this leap year and day out of time portal. Through the power of today's galactic portal, we navigate through the still center of all space-time continuums, through harmonic convergence, and call in the highest timeline for the greatest good of all sentient beings of the way. This day out of time is no time, the timeless space in between worlds, which merges yesterday's keen 131 with tomorrow's keen 132, and stretches time to assist all star seeds through the zero point void space of infinite potential. Each moment in the void is an eternity, the eternal now the sacred space in between death and rebirth. With the power of the divine feminine womb space, we cultivate the heavenly chi within our Dantian power center and uplift and elevate our starseed ground crew team of the 144 to rise up as God's spiritual warriors of the new Avalon. As grail queens and kings, we lead the way to the promised land of Terra Nova Gaia, Mothership 33 of our Universal Alliance of Light. On this special day, we collectively make our quantum leap of consciousness and merge our higher self with our third dimensional presence and become the light bridgers and love keepers of our Lion Kingdom, of our Lyran Nation of the New Lemuria as we let go of the need for control and go with the flow of our natural state of consciousness we become world bridgers as we feel into our experience of reverence and awe of the magnitude of our universal mission and our roles as conscious co-creators and way-showers of our new heaven upon the new earth aho Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful divine decree of the white flame manifestation. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below. And now we continue with divine sister of light Valerie A. Elster. Big initiations in the field today. We are entering into the timeline of tomorrows. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Laura Holloway. And finally, we enter into the mystic. You are heavily protected. Watch as the forces once against you crumble. Timelines collapsing, skipping, consolidating. DNA blooming within. Changes at a cellular level. Gifts and new abilities opening up in all. Been a little tired lately? Well, it is expected. Lean in. Sheer magic is upon us. Unity, peace, love. Laura. And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Allie Ray. In this most precious and sacred now, may you be reminded that you are enough. In truth, you are more than enough. Simply being all that you are, in this and every moment, you are enough. You don't need to be anything other than what you are in any given moment. That is the divine gift. You are like a flower, perfect in its every phase, not needing the push and pull or to obtain approval of anything outside of you. You, just you, in all your pain and all your glory, are simply perfect in each moment, and all is in perfect timing. Breathe this. You are more than enough. Feel this song in your heart. You are more than enough. You are so very loved. You are love. Love is, love is, love is. God is, God is, God is. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Kirsty Elizabeth. 29th of February, a day out of time. The more that we are aware of the bindings of the illusion of time and how we are held to the clock, 
the higher we reach towards escaping it. If time is money, then where stands value? As we see the adding of a day to catch up on the numbers, could it be that we might expect to see the restacking of order in the lead-up to the equinox? Perhaps order might be restored as the maths add up. Or could it be that for one day we step out of time and strive to create a new rhythm? Expect to be integrating the February stack-up of cosmic interactions as we round off February with an extra moment to pause. The 3-3 three, three portal looks to be a shattering of illusion and a creation of fractals. When we can see all of the pieces, maybe we will recognize the unity of one and step towards the wholeness of time, space, and matter. Or perhaps we might implode our fragmented sense of self into the deep. The addition of a day could be a doorway to endless opportunities or could put to sleep a thousand years of memories and replace us with an open invitation to step up and fly. It's an open door. Where we are going is nothing like anything you have seen or known before. These are the words of my guide when I asked him how to describe the new earth. The thing is, that if you are a sensitive, a person born with developed empathy and sixth sense awareness, then you already know this to be true. We have been talking of dreaming a new earth for a while. So where do you think that dream has come from? It is an energy state deeply encoded within your sense of spiritual identity. It is the flavor of the sixth sense. It has always been a part of your personal experience of the environment. Its message can be heard in the trees, on the air, and within the heart. Its colors appear on the tip of every artist's brush and mix into the particles of every invention. The new earth is a calling, and it's a homecoming. This is because you have been there before, not in some deep sleep dreaming space, but in living form. It is one of your past lives because you are from the future. Kirsty Elizabeth and today from Divine Sis Star of the Light Shea from Numbers by Shea Numerology. 22924. This extra day, this leap day, is an intentional segue between February's action oriented expectations and March's focus on receptivity, sensitivity, and peace. You are moving out of a number one masculine dynamic and into the receptive and intuitive number two feminine energy. You planted new seeds this month in your thinking and behavior. March requires the patience and nurturing to help them grow. Today is inside you, not out in the world. It will fill you with inspiration and insights, tell you secrets, tease and teach you. This is a day like no other. It's plugging you into something divinely important. Listen and learn. And from Divine Brother of the Light, Rick Jewers. For the twin flame pairs, one of the greatest fears the darkness has is knowing that the twin flame pairs have arrived into this reality, for it means the end of their reign. As usual with the darkness, anything that is a threat to them and their agenda, they attempt the tactics of infiltration and separation. With the twin flame pair's relationships, once they have identified a twin flame pair as part of their tactics, they would try to separate the flames through tactics, such as trying to enter doubt and distortion and beliefs into the relationship as directly as they could or through wounded others through the darkness could, unbeknownst to the others, manipulate into doing their bidding. Stay strong and committed in your twin flame relationships and know some of the tactics of the darkness so that you are not separated by any nefarious manipulating attempts. For advanced twin flames, it is easier for them to discern any attempts and to not allow it to affect the divine union. As for new twin flame pairs, by having this knowledge, you will accelerate much quicker in your combined divine prowess in preparation of perhaps creating a flash of reality in conjunction with your other divine twin flame pair comrades. Be wise and know that the darkness may try to get you through others. 
However, you persevere for your divine purpose is very important to the overall divine plan and is supported by the higher divine realm. The twelve original twin flame pairs has at least physically met and are currently undergoing divine upgrades to their pairs' empowerment. There has also come to be many other twin flame pairs with impressive divine prowess to overall affect the planetary ascension. Many of the twin flame pairs have their mission and alignment of creating the heaven on earth scenario as a knowing. This has the ascension rising like a phoenix and the remnants of darkness like ashes swiftly falling from the rise. Love and Light Rick Jewers And today from Divine Sister of the Light Erini, Crystal and Indigo Guide to the Galaxy, Solar Twin Flames, 5D Resurrection Code, Sphere Correction, Kundalini Restart. Message. This is a new start for the Twin Flames. The old is gone. The last energies are all zeroing out and they will begin again. The organic yin-yang Twin Flame flows will now become one, igniting the new start. Via the yin-yang organic templates, new bridges are being created that will allow remembrance to flood back in, resurrecting the twin flames. This has not taken place yet. No one can imagine what this means and how this will be experienced in the physical reality. It will be unexpected. You are one in the flow of 5D ascension. The angelic heart of Eros the holy light is here, 5D crystalline rainbow flow. The holy trinity is the orgasmic life. I was told that this is an initiation and a very powerful alignment which will have strong transformative results on our physical body and life. We are going fully physical now. Our long inner work on self-unification is reaching a point of external expression and manifestation. We are entering the flow of divine synchronicity and miraculous unfoldment, spiritual alignment, material confirmation. Bring the codes home. Such a beautiful blessing. Thank you, inner sun. Blessed restart. Erini. El Moriana Anadi Miana. Ol a Christos. Hunama Anata Kumara. Yellow Galactic Warrior. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Corrine Christine Kaufman, Temple of the Magdalene Rose, 144, Gospel of the Eternal Rose, The Pearls of Kiowa Wahine, Venus, the Magdalene Rose, Feminine Christ, Isis, Archangel Ariel, the Lioness of God, Original Mermaid, Kiha Wahine, Mo'o Kiowa, Wahine, Mermaid, Dragon Queen, the truth will always rise to the surface earth, air, water, fire, the pearls of Kiowa, hidden in plain sight, waves of mermaid love, 1313 double goddess codes coming in. Why, who, ancient Mu temples still shine in the light of the holy sun, Kekau Makali'i, the throne of heaven in the Pleiades. Kaya, the queen of heaven who sits upon the throne. Kaya, within the holy waters. Kaya, of the Pleiades. Gaia, Sophia, the Magdalene Rose. Archangel, Ariel, the lioness of God. Pele, Hiiaka, Laka, the original mermaid. When we merge completely with the underwater kingdom, we leave the ego land-based awareness patterns behind and enter through the heavenly Pleiadian Syrian gateway into unity consciousness and bliss. It is here within the rainbow whale and dolphin song vibrations that the deepest inner work is gifted, the return to innocence, reconciliation of the inner twin flame. We are cleansed and born again in the holy waters of life. Kaya, baptism of the sacred heart, integrating the higher self and anchoring the kingdom of heaven within the human heart. In the blink of an eye, 144,000 Pleiadian angels ascending home. 
Halea, Kala, House of the Sun, New Jerusalem, 808 Mermaid, Kareen Christine Kaufman, 144 Flowing In, from Divine Sister of the Light Jillian Macbeth, the Arcturians, Time Gates, the Time Gates occupy a space which holds unto all that it serves. As the time gates are unlocked, what once served you will be released into a flow that moves away from you. Everything that you have held unto emotionally, physically, and mentally is now given a decree to be released. We herald from the star system Arcturus. We hold keys to time gates. These time gates herald conditions of healing for all of humanity. The walls in your heart, the walls in your life, in your automobile, in your home, in your thinking, have all served you. They have lovingly served and limited you. They have kept you looking at the same scenarios over and over again, never refreshing what you thought in the past, always bringing it to the future, to the now, chewing and rechewing what you created as truth. It is time to heal. It is time to release the pain in your heart. It is time to let go. It is time to forgive. It is time to love deeper, fuller, more beautifully than you have ever thought. The time gates have held your thinking in a formatted structure that has served people up until now. As long as you had the security of the four walls and the ceiling to rely upon, you were not afraid. As the constructs of invisible walls and ceilings are released from you emotionally and mentally, you are then free to fly home into your original source thought. Imagine a world where you own nothing and yet you have everything. There is never envy or jealousy toward one another, for each individual has the same intrinsic ability to craft. Imagine a world where you as a society decided upon the weather patterns how crops, trees, flowers would grow, and what elements would be inherent within them. This could be your future if you choose wisely. This is a scene taken from Arcturus. Imagine a world where you could see your past, present, future in one sitting. See all the expressions of yourself enabling you to choose wisely or foolishly with full knowledge and a full heart. Seeking knowledge, seeking wisdom, seeking truth from place after place, star after star, experience after experience, creating love in places that never knew love, joy in places that never felt it. Your bodies were formed from the stars and they yearn to go home and be free. Allow us to lift you back into the stars while your feet are still on the ground. Allow us to stretch your humanness beyond its boundaries, angers, and sadness. Allow us to retrieve for you the knowledge that you seek, the answers that you need. See us as a cosmic search engine of sorts. We are not grander than you are, but we are your potential. Strive to become more and more in that striving, you will expand your consciousness. See us as those that come to help heal. You have forgotten the declaration, we the people. You the people of earth must stand up for your future. Stop bending to the needs and wants of a world that influences you at every turn. Receive your power. Do not let others decide your future. The reason that so many star systems will come to earth is that there are many cracks within your world. Not the fissures or fault lines of the earth, but cracks within your relationships, your marriages, and your hearts. Your earth declares its vulnerability. Earth is not healed within herself. She is falling apart as you are. You are not together in your hearts. You are not together in peace as a world or as a family. If you stood together as a planet, this would not happen. Unite in your effort continually with each other take that extra step toward a neighbor toward a friend that has betrayed you towards a family member that disagrees with you take that extra step just start with the hearts that hear this begin to encircle earth one heart at a time we are the arcturians call upon us to assist you in healing you are blessed live that 
from thequantumawakening.com. And today from Divine Growth or of the Light Diego E. Berman, Ph.D., the last shift before March, a leap day, a jump forward, February 29th, 2024. Dear friends, we are navigating through the last week of the month and the energetic transition into a very important period in the year, the month of March, the month of Mars, the Roman god of war, but despite its threatening name, we are moving into a period of positive transformation marked by the equinox on March 19th and 20th, and the lunar eclipse on March 25th. But before we get there, we still have to pass through this last week of February and the special date of February 29th, the Leap Day. A leap year happens once every four years, and was created back in 45 BC by Julius Caesar as a way to balance out the inconsistencies in the calendar because the 29th of february only happens once every four years many people believe that the day holds a significant energetic meaning the number 29 can be reduced to 11 which is a master number and contains within it the frequencies of all dimensions found in the physical universe number 11 is a powerful spiritual door number two february is the number of pursuing your soul purpose it carries with it a balanced male and female energy that helps us to birth our creations and bring our ideas from the non-physical into the physical world from the higher dimensions and into the lower dimensions when eleven and two come together their energy combines to create a synergistic powerful energetic window through which love healing and teaching can come through from the higher realms into the lower physical planes you can envision these numbers as the arrival of a messenger bringing the spiritual light to illuminate our earthly journeys and spiritual advancement. Walking through 229, February 29th, is almost like walking through a rare gateway that only opens to us every four years. If you feel this resonates with you, you may want to use this particular day to meditate, walk in nature, and write in your journal as new signs and insights may come into your awareness on this special numerical date. You can experience this date as an extra opportunity to synchronize yourself with the cosmos. Those of you who are energy sensitive may be still experiencing some physical adjustments triggered by last week's solar flares, the 22424 energy portal, and the recent full moon in Virgo. Our nervous system is undergoing a massive calibration, and this process may be releasing old stagnant blockages that may feel extremely heavy. We are truly shifting deeply at the energetic, emotional, and cellular levels. Headaches, dizziness, fatigue, lack of focus, and anxiety may still manifest into the early days of March. Stay well hydrated, listen to your body, and allow yourself to change your inner perspectives. Adjust to your new higher timeline as you gracefully give thanks and say goodbye to a previous version of yourself. May your 229 be filled with wonderful and enriching realizations. See you in March. Much love, we are one. From DiegoBerman.com And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light Judith Kusel, Being Fluid with the immensely powerful shifts we are currently going through, we will be finding more and more that all structures, all schedules, all our nicely boxed life start dissolving as boundaries, fences, and all which has governed us and ruled our lives for so long disintegrates. At the same time, I am finding health lessons are coming up for me and have been so since last year. This has had great lessons in soul mastery as I am learning to listen to my body and what it is telling me, and am open to clearing what needs to still be cleared. With this more food that one cannot tolerate nor digest any more, but then in the higher dimensional states, one can live off prana, which is life breath itself. As we are getting lighter and brighter, we will find our consciousness levels expand into levels we could not reach before. My higher guidance is constantly telling me this. Yet at the same time, we need to be grounded firmly into Mother Earth, which means rooted like a mighty tree of life. 
we need now to co-create heaven on earth in the new earth and new golden age we can only do this by being consciously aware that we need to have the antakarana bridge of light also firmly rooted in mother earth as well it is going to get more seemingly chaotic in the next few months as all dissolves this includes countries earth changes and as i said above all structures and forms in society in our own lives and countries and indeed the world this is very necessary as the old earth disintegrates as she needs to during seeming chaos there is a still point and a hidden order and out of that still point the new is born being fluid means allowing all to flow in and around like the living waters of life water will always find a way around above below and even carve a way out of sheer rock become like water the living water is not only fluid but is the life force as we liquidize and all the rest we are being birthed into a totally new form of life what a blessing and indeed what an exciting time for exploring beyond the beyond and expanding in all directions the unknown the unchartered and therein lie the blessings of the new beginnings and life yes it can be uncomfortable and will get even more so but it is necessary and out of the ashes the phoenix rises as all elements play a role in the rebirthing from judith dot com and today from divine sister of the light karen lithica knowledge holders of light for the path of a wayshore is to gather light information follow the light path of vibrational insights to birth new thoughts of light creation weave the light path for we have gathered in this light source bubbling and weaving the truth of now to reach the next step of your personal light mission we ask you to review your life story see the important points of light awakening for active light involvement is available the cosmos of light is activating align with the rapid light changes appearing in your world for the world of quantum awakening is now appearing faster and brighter the metamorphosis of who you are is shifting expanding awakening for the light signature of you is maturing to another level of self-awareness we ask you to simply acknowledge your light weaving continue to walk the path of light feel the light encodements of now sending waves of cosmic love together we walk in light the arcturians and karen from karenlithica dot com and today from divine sis star of the light carolyn one forty four god code calling back your energy continues today this recover is needed so you can apply it towards creating your fresh clean new earth start as your power recovers you may begin to feel more emotionally balanced and stable the final destination is yet unknown however you are in a better position to choose the path of least resistance for you not for others trust that choosing yourself is bringing great success self-esteem confidence and abundance little by little you're freeing yourself and rising even higher than ever before in jesus christos name amen god bless you love carolyn from 144godcode.com and today from divine sister of the light colleen lemma on thursday february 29th a day that only happens once every four years we have magical opportunities awaiting us if we take advantage of them mercury planet of ideas and communications and imaginative pisces is in a sextile to jupiter planet of expansion and new horizons also approaching is a sextile between the sun ruler of our energy and vitality and creative pisces with jupiter ruler of abundance and prosperity and finally we have venus ruler of relationships and finances and future oriented aquarius and a positive sextile to chiron the healer and shaman getting closer to exact connection a sextile in astrology is an aspect of opportunity however we must recognize the possibilities and then take action steps towards making something happen so on this auspicious last day of february open your eyes and look around you 
What potential and magic is awaiting your attention? Blessings of love and light to all from SacredSoulEmpowerment.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Mercury in Pisces, sextile Jupiter in Taurus. Venus in Aquarius, sextile North Node in Aries. As it is a leap year, we are gifted an extra day to keep our calendar aligned to the sun. As luck would have it, this rare date is blessed with two helpful aspects to make the most of our extra time. Karmic relationships, group dynamics, community meetings, all are gifted a little cosmic sparkle under these planetary influences. Venus laughs, twirls in front of her friends. I propose you follow your heart, she says, giddy with electric excitement. Love is the magic word to make doors open. Yes, there are many things going on in the world, hard times, harrowing times, but here we have some respite, a chance to catch our breath, a moment to switch on positivity and focus on the good news, because there is good news. Amidst the bad, saved puppies, revived landscapes, incredible people doing incredible things. There are teachers and wisdom keepers, soul guides and poets, books upon books to inspire and inform. Open your mind to the surge of creative energy. Remember, you are an eternal student of life at the Earth School. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio. Leap Day, 29th of February, 2024, Day Out of Time. This is the time between 1 Chuane, Keen 131, and 2 Abe, Keen 132. This blue monkey wave spell spans over 14 days rather than the usual 13. This is because we have a day out of time day on the 29th of February 2024, because we are in a leap year in the Gregorian calendar. The dream spell calendar treats leap days as any other day out of time. To correct this anomaly, the leap day out of time day becomes a bridge in time between Keen 131 and 132. The first half of this day, Thursday the 29th of February until 12 noon, has the energy of Keen 131, the blue magnetic monkey. And then in the afternoon and evening from 12.01 p.m. until 11.59 p.m., the energy is that of Keen 132, the yellow lunar human. And so in fact, 131 and 132 are stretched over 36 hours instead of the usual 24. The day out of time, or rather no time, Blue Monkey lets us stay out and play a little longer. The day out of time is when we enter the twilight zone of no time. This day often has a mystical dreamy quality to it with a feeling of freedom and joy to express yourself through art and play. Dream big today because we have extraordinary supernatural powers to jump timelines, skipping the old reality and choosing our new bliss. The goal on this day is to celebrate our lives as time equals art seeking to make our daily lives an expression of beauty, elegance, and all that is good in our world. The utopian lifestyle where we can slow down and smell the roses. As you exit the artificial time matrix and bond in your natural environment, surrounded by trees, flowers, birds, and the plethora of divine gifts within creation, stop and reflect with all that is perfect in our world. On this day, we are encouraged to pause, stop, and be still. Take time out of the daily grind, your daily routine, and reflect on the miracle of creation as we journey together on this beautiful blue and green paradisiacal planet. Unite with friends, family, loved ones, colleagues, and even strangers. Hold each other's hands and embrace with warm loving hugs as the family of Gaia. Link together loving hearts and peaceful minds with one intention, to visualize a wonderful new creation, a loving world with all humanity focused on peace, harmony, equality, and unity. The day out of time day is perfect for daydreaming and drifting into other realms. 
wherever your dreams may take you often the day feels extra trippy and trance-like as you bypass the passage of time and enter the twilight zone today you will easily be able to slip into new dimensions time has been slipping and glitching lately as we slide into new dimensions and realms of existence make sure you are well grounded into new earth today take off your shoes and wiggle your toes into the earth grass sand and waters of our pachamama let us bypass the illusory world today as we quantum jump into another dimension of space-time it is very appropriate that the blue magnetic monkey is our guide through no time as he is a master illusionist and time traveler moving through multi-dimensions in the time-space continuum is his specialty this is super trippy because all this occurs in the central mystic column the heart of the zolkin and at zero point hunabku it seems spirit wishes us to linger longer in the cradle of source energy enjoy the reunion beloveds what a homecoming this day out of time day is extra magical as it occurs on day twelve within the mystic column the seventh vertical column in the heart of the zolkin calendar one day after we pass the exact zero point hunabku the galactic center this is highly significant as we have a day out of time within the space of no time double zero who knows where this double portal will lead us make sure you stay grounded as who knows where you will travel to today's question is what do i wish to magnetically attract through play joy and merriment to manifest a new bliss-filled reality aho beloveds use your magic to create a world of pure imagination divine blessings for a beautiful dreamy day filled with creativity magic and bliss in la catch a la keen christina white magnetic world bridger keen sixty six and on this powerful day of activations manifestations and transformations let us know beloved beings of light in the comments below what you're feeling what you're seeing your dreams your visions and your synchronicities and if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates and as always we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions and we archive these on our website primedisclosure.com now i'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission it's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work so if you'd like to help support our work, our mission, and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to thank Divine Sis Star of the Light Victoria for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sis Star. We appreciate you and your continued support. And I'd like to also thank Divine Brother of the Light Milo Shradik for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Brother. We appreciate you and your continued support. And we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you, so we're very grateful for each and every one of you. If you'd like to help support our work and mission with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts both links are at eaglelovecondor.com now i'd like to also thank everyone supporting my sacred condors artwork you could purchase our beautiful handmade goddess totems zodiac goddesses healing jewelry and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a powerful divine decree from divine sister of the light sitara lutz the white flame manifestation i am luxor light lit for eons so that everyone can experience abundance mastery and power i am the flame of mastery that tunes you into the forces of the soul i am the resurrection and the life of invincible protection i am the resurrection and the life from enlightened wisdom I am the resurrection and the life of divine love. I am the resurrection and the life of heavenly purity. I am the resurrection and the life of the cosmic truth. 
I am the resurrection and the life from divine grace. I am the resurrection and the life from merciful liberation. I am the resurrection and the life of infinite clarity. I am the resurrection and the life from the harmonious balance. I am the resurrection and the life of eternal peace. I am the resurrection and the life of joyful purpose. I am the resurrection and the life of the total transformation. I am the radiation that attracts all the serenity necessary for all beings to manifest true power in action. I am, I am, I am. Amen, amen, amen. Namaste. Om Tat Sat. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed day as we continue our journey through the ascension portal and into the new heaven upon the new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step. And keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.